Hey everyone, so today we're going to film Tarantula Feeding Video 80. Awesome! So the teas have not been fed since Feeding Video 79. It's uh, been quite a while since I had trouble finding crickets. But now since I have 300 crickets and the superworms uh, still from the expo, we're going to feed all the 130 teas. Yeah, it's going to be a big job. So it's 9.15 a.m. So we have some good news. Is that, one, uh, my lab that I'm supposed to go at 1 o'clock, it's cancelled, so I don't have to rush like I usually do for these feeding videos, so that's going to be good. And as well, as um, I got news that Mario has arrived at Reptalitus, Dion's house. Um, I called his mother this morning, it arrived safely, but um, he's not there to open up the package, so I'm hoping uh, when he comes back from school, he opens up and hopefully he's alive. So I'm pretty sure he's going to give me a review video. Sinister, that's uh, Jesse, long zone triple six. Yeah, so he's just like me. I'm going to, going to do them in mix and matched order because a lot of people don't like uh, the predictable alphabetical order. So, so the first tea you're going to try to feed is the um, Beldifacillus, the Fire bird eater. Yeah, success. She's a five inch female. Here's Cat, Vicularia urticans, the giant Peru pink toe. We'll have no trouble feeding her. She always eats. Yeah, there we go. Alright, here's Goma, one of my female. El Parhaimana. Perfect. Alright, so I know I said this yesterday, but I'm going to try to feed uh, Jason's male Calcodes. See if he eats. He might not be interested. Oh, he did eat. Nice. I love this male. Alright, so here's my Zenithus Imanus, the Colombian Lesser Black Tea, Genesis. So I guess we are not going to feed him. Look closely at his abdomen, it's blue black, which means he's in pre molt. So there's no point feeding him now because uh, tarantulas in pre molt should not be fed. Look at my old big boy. Here's Hans Theraphosa Sturmy, mature male, Goli Burgundy Goliath bird eater, not the true one. I'm actually going to try to find one for myself if they're available in the hobby. And at least in Canada. So we'll see if he'll eat. Oh, he wants it, but he's in an awkward place. There we go, that's one way to feed your tea sturmy. Yeah, I guess he's just happy with one. Alright, so this one here is Pseudohoplopus species long haired. The yellow banded bird eater. This is Larry, three inch male. Awesome. Sorry about the phone. <laughs> what a pig. Alright, next one is uh, Kitana. She is a Brachypalma Bomi, the Mexican fire leg. Wow, she was pretty hungry. Excellent. Here's Hannah, Linotheli Megatheloides, the diploid funnel web. <laughs> Your first superworm. Cool. 
All right, here's Bloom G. Rosea Red Form. Slam. That was sure an attack there. Uh, see if I can get a second one. He's pretty hungry. Uh, this one's actually a male. Sex is molt. That's why I decided to buy Lois the female. Okay, man. Wow. Never seen a G. Rosea eat like that. Oh, that was cool. Alright, so here are Leon and Claire, my pair of Brachypalma erratum that used to be half an inch last year. Alright, Scofie Leon first, he's the male. Not a problem for him. And there's Claire inside the bark. Ah, awesome. Head of Scrocher Maculata, the Togger Service Baboon. That's Grishina. She attacked the Superworm, no problem. Here's Stacy, Brachypalma Alpaceps, the Mexican Gold Red Rump. Ever so gently. That's a nice Brachy. Okay, so these four are Tap Gigas, the orange tree spider. So this is the one that I uh, have to give to Jesse, since he wants it. These are one of my 30 that I got from Tarantula Canada for the reading loan. I want to attack no problem. So these two are suspect females. This one here is the suspect male. Feed the male first. Not a problem. Okay, feed one of the females now. And here's the other female that I have. <laughs> nice. Here's my fatty Sasha, the Acanthus curia brocklehursti, giant white banded. I tell you, these Acanthus curias, they always eat, no problem. Whenever I see them not eat, that means they're likely in pre molt. She's a bulky, I would say, five and a half inch female. Alright, this is Chromatopelma cyanu pubescens, the mature female green bottle blue, Valencia. One of my favorite Brachypalmas, this one here is my Smithy, Mexican Red Knee, Scarlet. Nice. This one here is Gramasola Pulcra, Brazilian Black, Ebony. Just going to find a super for her. I think she's trying to get it. Yeah. Man, she's huge. Here's Charmaine. She's a Pocotheria Barra. The lowland ivory ornamental. And yep. What a beautiful pokey. Here's Roberta, Cerico Palma Rebronitans, the Panamanian red rump. Come on, Roberta. That's my girl. That's a good girl. That's a very nice tea. Hmm, kind of looks like a black triangle in the center. Yeah, weird. There is Anna, Avicularia Huriana, the Ecuadorian Wooly Pink Toe. And I think
think I missed that attack. But man, she's an awesome po- Not <laughs> pokey. <laughs> an Avic, actually. Fantastic. Six inches. Alright, this one here is Daniela. She's my second LP female. Salmon Pink Bird Eater. Here's Roy. I think I'm going to give him a new enclosure this weekend. Uh, is my male. Gram Solo Polka. Brazilian Black. You saw Ebony, who's my adult. And let's uh, see if he'll eat. Oh, no problem with him. Sweet. Here's another cool bracket palma. This one here is a classy Mexican pink. Tunia, she's a 5 inch female. Awesome. She always attacks. Alright, so I tried feeding Lois the rose hair red form that I got last Wednesday from K-Man. Wasn't interested in eating, of course. It's very typical for the species. So I'm going to try to feed uh, Wendy. She's my polka piece female. Chocolate. Yep. Perfect. Alright, let's try feeding Trina. She is a freshly molted female Samapoas Cambridge, the Trinidad Chevron. Perfect. Got moss green carapace and overall moss green coloration around the whole body. Accentuated with red tarsi. A very cool looking species. Alright, so now that I have slightly better lighting, we're going to see if I can try to draw out uh, my three arboreals here. Zelda and Pandora are P. regalis and Trinity is my Aviclary Aversi color until he's pink toe. So we're going to go ahead and feed Pandora first. Yep, I heard her. There she is. She's quite huge. And that's Zelda. Alright, Trinity is my Averse color. She missed it. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> Here's Ophelia, Orthonoctinus oritabalius, the Thailand fringe. I guess I'm hungry, but there's a good update of her. What a famous pet hole. Joelle, the Pocothera ornata, the fringed ornamental. The one that was freaking out in my video a couple of days ago. Hopefully I'm going to get her eating. Nice. There we go. That's what a Nornado looks like. Very beautiful poke.
And yes, your Armada did escape again. Oh, I swear that pokey is a nightmare to own. Alright, now let's try for something a little different. Well, it's a little pokey, but this one's a lot more calmer. Uh, is my Pocotheria Formosa, the Salem Portamental. Ooh, look at this pokey thing. Would hate to get bitten by that. Let's get a good idea what she looks like. Uh, it's probably the best picture I can get of your. I love this pokey. All right, so now I'm going to feed my 5P Camergy that I got from Jesse. So to recall. Whenever I feed half inch slings, I always give them crush crickets. Alright, so I have one in there. Number two is in here. I'm just going to leave them in there and they'll grab it themselves. Three. Four, and where's the fifth one? It's hiding. And I don't want to disturb them too much because, um... They are pretty fast. And that's how I feed all the spiralings. Alright, here is my Kilo Brachys from Briatus, the Indian Violet that I got from Tarantula Canada. Gonna feed them parts of a cricket. Uh oh. Oh, you look at that, it's butting my tongs. <laughs> Just goes to show you that even as slings, you really do want to watch out if you ever want to handle them. Just because a known defensive species may be calm at sling stage doesn't mean that they don't bite. Alright, here is uh, Ephobobus rufescens, the burgundy skeleton. This one's going to be lightning fast. Huh. Cricket made freedom. But, <laughs> she was too quick. Here's a Syrgopacus shoidi, the Malaysian earth tiger. Yes, got it. Stramatopelma calciatum, the feather leg baboon. Ooh, nice. Pocotheria fasciata, the Sri Lankan ornamental. This is the one that I got at the expo. There we go. Chinese fan, Julin, who's a female, three and a half, four inches. Ooh, nice. All right, this one here is my female Brachypalma smithy, the Mexican red knee. This is Athena. Good girl. Alright, let's try another pokey. This one here is Pocotheria Miranda, the Bengal Spotted Ornamental. This one's Miranda. No problem with her. Beautiful.
Here's another pokey. This one here is a Poclotheria Tigrina Wasseli, the Wessel Tiger Ornamental. Yep. That's what she looks like. Kind of resembles my Miranda a little bit. Alright, here's that big tap gigas, the orange tree spider. This is Barb. <laughs> yeah, look how big she is now. She's awesome. Alright, here's Annabelle, uh, my Vicolaria Vicolaria female. Okay, so that's what she looks like. I'm trying to give a close shot of her. I think she's readable. A mature female. Now for a mature pair of Tapnikinia Sancti Vincenti, the St. Vincent's Tree Spider. So I'm going to feed my female on the left. Alrighty, I'm going to start power feeding her now. So she's no threat to the male. No, oh, that's right, the other way around. Yeah, she took both of them. Now I'm going to feed Armando's mature male. He's right over here. He's a big boy. Awesome. He got it. It's a huge male. I'm worried that She's a little bit smaller. But I think she'll be fine. Alright, this is Grandma Sola Poker Piece, the Choco Gold Me. This is Peach. Not a problem for her. Alright, this tarantula is perhaps the most aggressive tea that I own, and I'm being a little too modest there, but she is a evil. Uh, this one here is for Mictopus concerides, the Haitian brown bird eater. Isabella, she's a four and a half inch confirmed female. And you see what I mean by vicious? <laughs> no one tries to mess with this tea. Just like I said in the tour video. Don't like to swear on YouTube, but she sure is a bitch. Alright, Pilcotheria fasciata, the Sri Lankan ornamental. This one's the male. Hey, no problem, buddy. Now, try to something a little bit more rare. Uh, Pilcotheria smithy, the yellow-backed ornamental. My sling wouldn't eat. So let's see if I can try to rely on Allison. She's below. Let's make if I better crick one crick in there. Oh. Love it. <laughs> cool. Oh, it seems my Leda was quite busy. Uh, this is a Puerto Rican Pinto. Awesome. Now, can we depend on Talia to eat? G. Rosea, this is the normal form. Yay, she ate. Alright, so this one here is Derek, male Acanthus Guria geniculata, the Brazilian giant white knee. This 
one here is a female Brachypelma bomi, the Mexican fire leg. This is Molina. Great. Alright, about 16 more teas left to feed. This one here is my P. Metallica, Goody Sapphire Ornamental, Mia. Beautiful. She's definitely one of my meanest pokies. But she's ever so colorful. Alright, this is Pocotheria striata, the Mysore Ornamental. This is the suspect male. Yeah. Pretty cool. And as we say in French, voici mon Pocotheria striata, le Mysore Ornamental. C'est une possibilité que c'est une femelle, possibly a female. Oh, darn it. No go, I guess. Alright, eight teas left and one more boreal. So, this is the P. Rufalata that I got from Mac and Cass. Possible male. Okay, one more. Look at that, two crickets all at once. What a pig. Here's Darius, immature male, Nandu tripepi, the giant strawberry blonde bird eater. It's the first time I fed him since he molted. Alright, Holotheli Inci, the Trinidad olive. Yep. There she is. Full grown. Yeah, I would probably say a full grown female. They're a dwarf species. They don't get very big. This one here is a Brachypalma verdesi, the Mexican rose gray. Wow. Here's Serena, Eupalestris Wagenbergi, the white colored. Let's see if she's going to eat. Nice. Love it. Alright, so now this is B. Vaggins, the Mexican red rump. This is Annette. Oh, she wants that. I want to see that attack. She attacked so well the last time. Yeah. Awesome. And hopefully I saved the best for last. Lassidora Fracta, the Brazilian Smoky Gray Bird Eater. <laughs> awesome. So it took around three and a half hours to feed all the teas. And I guess I'll end the video as I always do. The icing on this beautiful cake. The dog Maggie. Hey. Uh -oh. ah, she knows that I have a treat for her. Okay. Sit. Paw. Give me paw. Weird when she does that. Pa? Not again. You're itchy. Pa? What? Okay, Pa? Pa? Give me Pa? Okay, Pa? Give me Pa? Hey, Pa? Roll over? 
Roll over. Okay. Dance. Okay, Maggie. Now stick out your tongue. I want you to stick out your tongue. Shh. No. Stick out your tongue. Shh. Look at that. Yeah, she's sticking out her tongue. There we go. Sit. Sit. I never actually videoed Maggie eating her treat. She usually runs with it. Was that good? Is that good? Yeah. Hey. You love that. <laughs> Alright, so I have some new news to include in this feeding video. Well, I just came back home from school. Late day. But, I have some proud news to give to you. So, Diane, a uh, reptologist who I sent my mature male co uh, poker piece to, he received it on time. So, I thank Canada Post for doing one good job at least. Every time I send Canada Post priority, they always arrive either one or two days late. So, I'm so happy that it arrived on time and it's in perfect health. So, since he has a male for a very short term because waiting for that female to molt, uh, he decided to go ahead and pair them up right away. And right now, he just messaged me saying that if you can read it, it's a huge success. And he has a male Ermina to give to me so I could try to pair Josie up. So yes, I am very proud of my little man. Just to let you know, uh, that's Wendy and Peach's brother. Half an inch two years ago. Amazing. So, stay tuned on his channel, uh, Reptalitus. He's most likely going to post a review video for me and the mating video. So, if I do see it in time when I'm going to upload this video, I'll include it in the video description so you all can enjoy and watch it for yourselves. So I want to thank again for watching this video and hope you enjoy it.